Welcome back. We're watching some more Higurashi. There have been several attempts so far of being able to change the future, the events of what is ordained to have happened. Many of the characters dying, if not the entire town. Still, though, there's a few times that they've narrowly escaped that fate. But how and why? What grander scheme is actually at play here? But with Keiichi once again breaking the rules inherently, what can he actually achieve? With Rika willing to fight once more, uh, how long before it all goes tits up? I give it about an hour and a half. The chapter title here really doesn't fill me with a great lot of hope, but then again, none of them really do. I don't expect once again to just finish this and actually resolve everyone, everyone gets out fine. I mean, what would we have to left to explore after that? But at least a few steps in the right direction, giving them a bit of hope for the future, what they might be able to achieve. And answering a few questions that I've had along the way. Especially after what they've tried to do with the whole introducing government conspiracies and aliens and the rest of the random bullshit which is kind of just dropped on us and then ran away. How many additional uh, uh, mysterious faces are we going to meet throughout the, the rest of the storylines? But as what was shown off in the uh, previous one with They've been through this, this spiral hundreds of times, if not thousands, with, they've been alive for hundreds of years. I mean, you can't always choose your tools or what you have. I'm sure some of that uh, junk may be useful to someone. Large bits of furniture. Hmm. Also, with it changing and she's gotten the doll or not, is that going to be brought up? Or is it just the fact that it... he's a f got a fear of needles? Was that a small bit of hesitation there? Really, but what did I think you had? Pull it apart, make sure nothing's inside. Probe that feeling a little more. Maybe not the best advice to give someone. Especially if after we've seen him paranoid and think things were there when they weren't. But in this case, I'd agree with her. I mean, after all, she did say what would happen at the, the game. Even though it may be sparse, the knowledge he has here, even if it was a hallucination, keep going. What else do you see? She's not going to let this go. Just do what she says. Keep, uh, keep talking. Damn it! 
Don't interrupt when he's so close to unlocking something there. I mean, not wrong, but for different reasons. Maybe try take a, a bigger bite. With what she saw before and now this unlock <laughs> unlocking a new path if we have more than just one additional character having that moment of clarity and what did she just say Give him housebound. But way to bring down the atmosphere here. It's good that we're getting a little bit of additional info here, considering you know, we now know all the rest still happened. It was just a dream. She took revenge on that woman. Anyone else remember anything? Each and every one of them, even if only slightly, if Keiji had to relive it. Or not to make sure everyone else tries to remember it as well. So all they need to do is check, right? We've seen doppelgangers, zombies, reliving past memories and lives. But rather than keep it all internalized, maybe they did all at, in some kind of level remember, but not telling each other for fear of, you know, being seen as somewhat insane. And maybe try to solve situations without resolving, resorting to Moida. Returned from the brink thanks to the words of friends. <laughs> well, all's well that ends well, right? And how do they feel now that she intervened and didn't kill them, and they've just lost their golden goose? She might have done it herself, but having that push from her friends and speaking out of your innermost worries. Even more so if you're can only see the darkness. <laughs> Don't repeat my mistakes. I wonder what we would all tell each other, or tell ourselves, if you could uh, go back. Are you sure about that? Really? Why? So she beat it out of her, right? 
If you don't tell me... Not unless you had a really good reason. And after seeing their interaction... Before, and now them hugging it out as though nothing ever happened. Does it mean the hands of fate are turning? Don't let this opportunity go to waste. I mean, she doesn't know what happens after, I guess. Well, yeah, almost having a victory just to have, to be, have it torn away from them. But yeah, she doesn't know what comes up next, right? With the the gas and the village of being destroyed. So she's like, right, I need to figure out how to stop dying. Okay, then how do you resolve the next bit? So, can you hire members of the, the village to try and provide a security? Because they're in the way. So, hopefully there's no, no, you know, poison or anything in the drinking water, but still. I mean, saving as many as you can, especially to try and get them onto your side. You never know what might come out of it. Takano has the best security. What is he... Oh, she, sorry. What did I say he? She got to uh, help out with the say with her safety. Quick, hurry. So if they can, if she can catch them now, give them a little talking down and also a So, what if you burn down the shed? I can't go in if there's nothing to go into. Hmm. So, small bits that we thought of. Just yeah, slightly out of time and luck <laughs> going back to the childlike innocence way of talking rather than the uh, somber way that she was on the way here it's for safety of everyone right ah academic curiosity If she lets them in, is it different than breaking in? <laughs> Just promise not to touch anything. Only go where she... Wow. 
Mm. At least she's enjoying herself. Everyone's allowed to... <laughs> Everyone's allowed to let loose just a little bit. Oh, the hands are attached. So Tadako didn't go in as a child and break... Oh, no, it is gone. Maybe it was just in that outpan shot that it looked like it. She's... She's a little too into all of the torture equipment and the rest. Is this the request? Now you're in, you can't leave. Do not laugh, do not take this as idle child like. story or anything. I mean, yeah, there was no erratic fear in her voice or behaviour. I can see why all three of them are removed if they are in it together. Well, there's only only time will tell. They've all have done so much, even if it's just trying to remember. Hmm. Just laugh in the face of fate and destiny itself. Kick it in the balls. <laughs> They'll leave him with nothing. Just rubble and ruins. Surely there's not some crime he could be investigating. Hmm. I like how even the voice of the spirit and the like was still trying to take, pretend to take things off the shelves. Ah. Okay. Any particular like reason that game particularly was chosen. Yeah, miniature. Uh, does he also have an ivory set? <laughs> Maybe learn the rules first before jumping in, but still. That's a tough ask. Unless they're weighted die. With only a smaller bit of uh, trouble rolling out outside. There's some that would enjoy that scene. Also reminds me of Gintama a lot. I thought he was going to miss on the last one. Instead of pulling one of them aside, talking to them, getting them all riled up in trouble. She 
actually gonna step forward and reach reach out he not as much as she could have been if she hadn't had all the stress on her shoulders but still she met him long long ago She's alive? <sighs> so it stopped her falling down the stairs? So, the events have to play out, but don't have to be so severe. But also, changing it so now his wife is fine, that's an interesting, interesting play for this. Mm. It is not written in stone. This is the most blessed of runs so far. The dice are stacked in their favour. It just means that they can... They've... What should... <laughs> We've seen the bikes and the... Delinquents get angry before. Is she going to get the... Ah. She's got a bit of backup. Well then. That does prove things a little. And might... Hopefully though it doesn't give her overconfidence. Within the safe ground. One that can fight against the universe and its decisions for you. You're far too negative. Of course it will, but don't give up now. She's had a taste of what's possible. Now if she can only harness those changes, make sure they happen. After all, she still had a week or so. Hopefully it doesn't go down to only a few days. It would be very difficult then. But Akasaka, having him come back, having his family fine. And he's on a lovely trip down to the village with his wife. <laughs> Hopefully nothing bad will ever happen. The idea of this run is so it's stacking it so much in the favor of oh this is looking really good that we know it's going to fail, considering the episode number that we're on in the season that we're on. Unless it just it is a victory, but there's more to accomplish. That could be interesting. But yeah, we s if she can get a little bit further to figure out who's been killing her, is it that this group that is also protecting her and she's now, haha, I'm untouchable because of that, actually going to lead to a bit of a downfall? Was it those that were after her to sacrifice her behind the shrine? Was it a different group imitating them? Are we just being misled? But after having a... Slight change in plans, having the various characters remember their, even just small little fragments of their past lives, making those memories mean something into this one, taking your dreams and building on them. If your subconscious is trying to tell you something, maybe you need to listen to it. 
What's it trying to say? Stand up, don't be afraid, push forward a little more, reach out to those that are around you. You don't have to do this alone. I wonder what my dreams would tell me. Actually, I'm not going to share that one. But it really is amping this up to be a interesting culmination of the re-life summer stuff. Having it where every single time so far has just been a quest for survival, or oh, there's someone after them, or oh, there's some sort of paranoia going on, and they've got to figure things out. Now we know a lot more. These are just small events in the grand scheme of things. There's bigger stakes at play here. And with someone that is fighting back against it, I just wonder how long it's going to be before the next big shock fact is going to be revealed to us. Now that she has this entourage, the uh, the cabal of safety net after her. The problem being is we've saw who's been chasing her before in the other, in the other lines, who was trying to invade the house, being the the men who are now following her in the van. Like I said before, unless we're just being baited into believing that, and it's just lookalikes and someone's stolen their uniform and the like and stuff. But if her own security blanket are the ones behind it, it's going to take a while to figure that one out. I mean, she doesn't know who kills her each time. Does that mean there is a certain limit on how much she actually remembers in each run? Or is it the death is just so shocking to her, she just loses, loses that part? for mental safety. But with every character that we've seen so far act slightly outside of their usual remit, the detective, the one who's been here before, with the wife and the kid, all of the main children, and then there's, you know, obviously other characters as well, like, uh, Kind of, kind of being a little too cheery, kind of acting a bit like Rena and Tomitake and Irie, Doctor Dude. Not that he's really done much outside of what we've seen before, but seeing them all huddle and try and work things out together, unless they start being picked off one by one anyway. Just got to avoid the. Greatest disaster of all, whether it be gas or some other undefined event. But I do like the believe in your friends, if you're in trouble, tell them, and it being carried through and actually put into sh practice here. I've had these weird dreams. Oh really? What were they? Oh really? I've been having some dreams as well. They seem all so, so real. Hmm, each and every one of us having some odd dreams about offing your friends. Ooh, something going on. Or it's just a very well-adjusted friend group. This show is interesting, fun, a little a bit of a brain teaser to see exactly what is being shown to us, what I might have, might have missed. I've been out in the open for so long, so easily before. Going back, how obvious were all the signs? We've seen delusion and paranoia feed into things that weren't there before. Have we had a reliable narrator all the way through? Have we, have we been shown exactly what's been going on? Or are we part of the grand experiment? Speaking of experiments... Is Sadako still getting the uh, daily injections? I want to see the next one. I want to see the next one now, actually. But... 
Much like you, I need to take a break. So, if you've enjoyed, let me know. Leave a like and a comment down below. Consider subscribing so you don't miss out. If I've entertained you, had any sort of impact into the story and your way of thinking, or I'm on the wrong track entirely, there's a comment section for a reason. Let me know. But seriously, take care of yourselves. Try and get some rest, because I want to see you for the next one. My patrons are the ones that are protecting me, whether they like it or not. So, if you would like to help beef up my security and sense of safety, consider joining onto my Patreon as well. Because alongside M. Dotto, Noku, Sal, Guado, Kite, Wolfie Sensei, and everyone else, my channel will only suffer a slow decline, rather than the abrupt death it deserves.